Hi. Once again, I am Eli Plaskett, Senior Associate Editor for Modern Machine Shop at Gardner Business Media. I am here at the Taipei International Machine Tools Show to talk about smart automation. Smart automation is when you use sensors and other digital tools to enable machine tools to react to changing parameters during cutting. Now, this kind of automation is essential for lights out machining and it is very popular here at the Tim Toss Machine Show. So let's go over to Dali Machinery and talk to uh, sales manager Richard Wang. It, it's a real busy show over here. Hi Richard. Uh, yeah, uh, nice could, to meet you. Nice to meet you yeah. too. Could you please introduce us to your company? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, dear guests, uh, welcome to the Tim Toss Eagle Division. I'm Richard. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all here today. Our company is called the Dali. Uh, it's a very professional um, uh, machine manufacturer. Dali had, was founded in the 1960s and uh, has a history of more than uh, 60 years. Uh, our uh, product is a particular horizontal gantry and uh, a, a, a fire is the machine center. Thank you. And smart automation is a real big topic here at the show. Could you explain for our viewers what it is and how it's useful to machine tool users? Oh, yeah. A smart automation is a many to reduce the, the cost, improve the production efficiency, and improve uh, 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 production quality. It's not as uh, simple as uh, replacing the uh, uh, human labor with the automatically. Yeah. The premise of the, the uh, automation is a machine ha must have an intelligent uh, capability so that it, it has the intelligent functions such as the uh, further prediction uh, auto parameter the setting and, uh, and so on. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate you talking with us. Yeah. It's good thank seeing you, you again. Well. Yeah, thank you. Now, we're here on the metal cutting machine tool area of Tim Toss. As you can see, it's very busy. We have Takisawa right over here, Victor Tai Chung right over here. And we're heading over to Yongshin Machinery, where we're going to speak to, oh, excuse us. We're going to speak to Director Jeffrey Hervé. Okay. Wow, it is really big show over here. Ah. Uh. Up. Oh. There's Hartford machines. A lot of 5 axis machine tools on display. A lot of heavily automated machining cells. Up. Oh. And there's Jeffrey. Hi Jeffrey, how are you doing? Good to see you too. Now, could you please introduce us to your company? Yes, uh, this is YCM. YCM is a global machine tool builder. Uh, my name is Jeff Irve. I'm the director of um, technical services here at YCM. Great. And uh, so, what is your company's view on smart automation? Well, customers today demand smart automation. So we've actually developed two different series of, of, of um, automation systems that give us smart automation. So here we have an MPS system, and then around the corner we actually have a FlexCell system. Both are easy to install, easy to automate. Um, you know, our customers today tell us, hey, we don't have people, we need, we need, we need to have people but to run a machine. Well, now we've actually helped them to solve that problem because we can now replace those people with automation. Great, and let's run through the MPS. What is this system? So this system is, is basically, we have two different styles. We have a six pallet and an eight pallet. This eight pallet, you can actually put eight different um, part pro parts on it and you can run eight different part programs and you can run say pallet two, pallet four, pallet six, or pallet one, three, five, seven. So it, it makes it easy to uh, manipulate new jobs or uh, add 
uh, uh, different parts to any any, pot any potential setup that you might have in your facility. So it, it truly is an automated system, and um, um, our FlexCell system is very similar, except for it's a pick and play system. So we have two different systems that we've developed and designed and built here at YCM. And how do these systems use digital tools? Well, digitally, I mean, first of all, they're connected to a they're connected to a smart machine. So not only do they use digital tools, but they also are connected to a smart machine that also uses digital tools. So we can see when, how long the machines are running, we can see what potential parts might be going bad. Uh, it depends on what kind of feedback that you give it, but we can look at and monitor almost everything on the machine. So we, and that's gotta be useful for lights out machining. Lights out, plus, plus if you have like high volume, uh, low flow, or, or high mix, low, low volume, I should say, or, uh, uh, high, or I should say high mix, low volume, or low volume, high mix, either one is, we can do both, so. Yeah, that's the benefit of a pallet system, right? Well, it, it could be the benefit of a pallet system or a pick and play system like we have around the corner. So both have that benefit. Great. Thank you for speaking with us, Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. Uh, now we're going to head over to uh, Taiwan Machine Tool Company. That's upstairs. Let's go. Here we are on the fourth floor. Here's the Fogaseki booth. We've got the USA Pavilion over here. Chimer over there. All right, we're heading over to TW, or sorry, TMT, the Taiwan Machine Tool Company. All right. There's Dowell over there. Again, you see, machine, you see machines from all over the world here, companies from all over the world, Germany, the United States, Taiwan, of course. All right, let's see. There's Alan S. Polygim. Again, many different kinds of machine tools here. Verticals, horizontals, lathes. And here we go. This is Vice President Claire Chen. Nice yeah, to meet nice you. To meet you. Yeah. Uh, please, could you introduce us to your company? Oh, yes. Since our establishment in 1978, TMT has transferred, enjoying over 45 years of successful business. Throughout this time, TMT has always put customer satisfaction as our first priority and put considerable devotion into the manufacturing of machine tools. All right, thank you for that. And nowadays, Many machine tool manufacturers are focusing on intelligent automation. Could you tell us what that means to your company and what, how you approach it? In today's society, the birth rate is decreasing. The demand for manpower is increasing a lot. Especially the working environment of processing industry is relative harsh. So it's difficult to retain talent stably with automations of machine tools. Uh, the demand for manpower problem can be solved and reduce the technical faults so that it can maintain, maintain stable quality and uh, precisely controlling the production capacity. All right. Thank you for that. And what is TMT's approach to meeting the demand for this automation? How do you approach it? Uh, with the increasing demand of processing industry in automatic production, TFP has been um, developing various intelligent management systems, including the most common utilization rate management system, SEO loader monitoring, and uh, live tool management and remote operation. Um, right now, also, you can also option with small box. Uh, in the uh, on our equipment, so that to have integrated management in the factory, and the managers can remotely monitor the production line in time with mobile phone. Okay. That's got to be very flexible for the management, and yeah. it seems and it seems that the. Uh, tool life monitoring is very important. Could you discuss that a little bit? Yes, tool life, 
But right now, uh, for the machine, yeah, uh, TLT two hundred NYW. This is the first release at Tim Toes. Uh, it's a machine su suitable for intelligent machining. It can compress. It can complete complex procedures, including milling, turning, drilling, tapping, and grinding in one machine, which can yeah, which can improve the processing product efficiency, and also reduce the errors have caused by loading and unloading. So with smart automation, the customer can not only save labor cost, but also create an efficient production line so that he can stand firmly as leader in the industry. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. This seems like a really uh, complex machine that you can get a lot of uh, different machinery types done on one setup. Yeah. Yes, that's right. All right, thank you very much. Uh, once again, this is Smart Automation here at Timtos. This is one of the most essential technologies for modern manufacturing with the reduction in uh, manpower these days, it is essential that job shops, larger machine shops, automate their production. And if they want to pursue lights out production, again, smart automation is essential. It allows these very flexible approaches where you can get many machining operations done in one setup, where you can get many different jobs set up on one pallet system. This is how you approach machining today. And once again, here I am at Tim Toss. Thanks you for watching.